Hi, this is Brad Hayes with another edition of Small Business Matters. And with me today is Helen Liu from San Francisco. Hello, Helen, how are you? Hi, Brad, I'm fine, how are you doing? Good, so tell everybody again who you are and where you're from and a little bit about your background, Helen. Uh, my name is Helen Liu. Uh, I came to the United States uh, in 1996 from China. So I started out going to college uh, in San Diego. Uh, then I moved up to Seattle, went to graduate school, and actually got my JD degree out of the Seattle University. Uh, spent about 10 years in Seattle. Um, that's where I started my banking career. Uh, I've been working on the commercial banking um, for about 20 years now. Uh, about 10 years ago, I moved to San Francisco area. So uh, from there, so it, that was in the middle of the 2008 uh, financial crisis. So from there, I spent most of my time in San Francisco Bay Area, still in banking industry. I see. And so what part of the banking industry were, were you in? I started as a commercial loan underwriter. Uh, then I moved on to a uh, loan officer. Then uh, in the 2008 financial crisis, I was a special asset manager. So help the bank, you know, manage those problem loans and uh, uh, unload those problem loans. Sure. Are you still in the banking industry? Are you still with the bank? I recently left the banking industry. So just uh, starting my own business. Yeah. Uh, I'm still in the process of starting my own business. So what prompted you to, or what interested you to start your own business? Um, because I've been working with someone for 20 years. Uh, so I was used to getting a paycheck from somebody, but I thought with my experience, it's um, probably about the time so I can start uh, to earn the paycheck myself completely. Uh, especially with uh, the accumulated experience and knowledge I learned from my previous job. So I thought it was a good time to start on my own. But who knows, COVID-19 happened. Yeah, so th did that interrupt things a little bit? Did it stop you from moving forward? Or, or where are you now since COVID-19 uh, has entered into the picture? It hasn't really stopped me. Uh, I'm still in the process. I'm acquiring a business brokerage. So I'm still in the process of closing out that transaction, but I already got the SBA loan approval. Uh, so everything is the process. Uh, however, you know, things have slowed down. For example, like I need to file a fictitious business name, but the county has closed. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, certain things I have to adjust and make, uh, uh, you know, um, adjustment, uh, find a new way to do things. But I'm still excited about this new journey. Journey. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. So since we're talking about COVID-19, what is what are you experiencing in, in San Francisco right now? Now, I think San Francisco and the surrounding counties were, was one of the first areas in the country that actually went to shelter in place. Is that correct? That is right. Uh, yeah, San Francisco is uh, the overall Bay Area, I think surrounding six counties altogether, have the shelter in place order, uh, you know, as one of the first uh, places in the United States. Um, so since then, uh, I think the volume of people going out really reduced uh, drastically. Uh, everybody are, you know, staying home now, uh, working from home. Um, I just left the, the bank about three days ago, actually. So uh, at the bank, uh, we had the BCP plan where we only had about two people in the office covering the basic uh, operation because banking is considered one of the essential businesses that need to be open. Right. So you just left the bank, but you're getting ready to, to take on this new venture with, uh, with the new business that you're buying. And, uh, and so you're still pretty positive about it. You're looking forward to it. You just have to readjust uh, your startup a little bit. Is that correct? I think so, yeah. This is a medical situation, right? And we have so many, you know, uh, brilliant minds working on resolving this issue. Um, 
And so I think the, the virus is going to run its own course and the, with everybody pitching in, uh, get prepared, uh, pre pre uh, I mean, practicing social distancing. Um, I think there will be a time this will be over or this will be uh, controlled. So the life still has to go on. Um, and I think the US has this strong spirit, right? We always come back strong. So I, I believe in that spirit. What, do you have any words of wisdom or anything you'd like to share with anybody that's thinking about becoming an entrepreneur and either buying a business or starting up a business? Um, what thoughts would you like to share with them? Um, I think the nature of an entrepreneur is always positive, courageous. So you still have to believe in yourself. Uh, believe in what you are believing in. So I think some people are changing their mind. They might have uh, uh, had the confidence in themselves before COVID-19, but uh, because what's going on now, they started losing that uh, trust in themselves. I think they still, you know, if they had the confidence, where did that confidence come from, right? Must come from their own experience, come from their knowledge, uh, the foundation they have built uh, to date. So I think they still need to trust themselves, trust the, you know, where they came from before, uh, and the trust that everybody will work together and will, you know, will control this. I don't know if we're going to cure it completely, but I think we'll control this. Thank you for those words of encouragement. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be very inspiring for current business owners and people that want to get into business here in the near future. I wish you well through all of this, and, uh, and I know you're going to come out strong in the end. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Brad, for having me. If you would like to laminate someone to come on to the Small Business Matters with me and do a short interview about their business uh, and be inspiring to other entrepreneurs, please click on the link below and send us a message. Thank you.